Hello, All Saints community and Facebook world. I am Reverend Jessica, and I am here bringing you all a gift of love, our love compass for today. For those who were able to catch Mother Adrienne's evening prayer last uh, yesterday evening, last night, she shared a little bit about the practice that we're gonna be doing. Uh, first, I'm going to read you a quote as a gift of your love compass today, and then I'll share a little bit of the backstory and give you a little bit of context. So this quote is from our presiding bishop, Michael Curry, his, one of his latest books, Love is the Way, Holding on to Hope in Troubling Times, uh, super relevant for right now. And it's under the heading, Chaos or Community. Hey Marge, hey Linda, hi everyone. So, let's take a listen. Presiding Bishop Michael Curry says in his book, the Bible says, choose this day who you will serve. I believe, and I suspect that most of you do too, that we must choose community, the human community, in community with all of creation. This is the beloved community of God. This is the late, what the late lay theologian, Verna Dozier, and Archbishop Desmond have often called the dream of God. And love, unselfish, sacrificial, unconditional, liberating love is the way, frankly, the only way to realize the dream of God to realize God's dream of the beloved community on earth as it is in heaven. It is the only thing that can ever, will ever make the world a better place." End quote. So here I am, um, behind me is my favorite hill. Uh, this has become a favorite spot, the girls and I, especially during pandemic times. It's in here in our neighborhood. And if you look really closely, you might be able to see my hammock where I've been doing some sermon prep this morning. Um, and so I share this special spot with you as a part of your love compass. I invite you to explore and perhaps share with others where is your sacred space during this time when we can't always go to our tried and true sacred spaces. And to reflect on this quote from presiding Bishop Michael Curry. We sent this quote out in our email this morning. So what we plan to do for the next two weeks, uh, we will be sending out um, emails as well as doing Facebook Live. So for this next week leading up to the election, we're going to be sending love notes in our emails and doing noonday love compass, a midday opportunity to just recenter yourself and um, set your compass pointing towards love. Mother Adrian has selected a variety of fantastic quotes from Curry's book, The Way of Love, or Love is the Way, apologies. And so today we reflect on this invitation to consider what shall we choose? What are we going to choose to serve in our lives? And in Bishop's quote, he talks about serving the community, serving God amongst the community in this loving way is the way of love. I see a lot of chitter and chat on, on the chat below. I just want to say a huge hi and welcome and good to see you all. Uh, Linda, Cora, Daniel, Becky, Nancy, uh, I assume Adrian, Rebecca, or Jen are the All Saints one there. Oh, Angela, fantastic. I'm glad that you're all joining. Uh, I hope that you're able to find a sacred space today, even just if it's your inner space to find that inner silence, to redirect your compass towards love, to accept this invitation to embrace love amongst community. I've got another quote and then a prayer to share. So this is a second quote from Bishop Curry's book. It says, love makes it possible to disagree on bedrock convictions and yet stay in relationships. There's a valid concern that doing so forces you to compromise on principles. But sometimes you have to run the risk because of a greater danger, chaos and social self-destruction. I think we have to run that risk, especially in the church. 
we have to know that love can survive meaningful disagreements. I'll say that again. We have to know that love can survive meaningful disagreements. The union can endure and must endure. And likewise, our nation, if we can't make room for people with differing viewpoints, we aren't living in a democracy anymore. We're in a dictatorship." End quote. Here, I believe Bishop Curry is talking about the challenges of actually embodying and living out love in the midst of community. Because when we engage in community, we're engaging with others, hopefully that have differing views, right? We don't wanna just surround ourselves in that echo chamber of everyone who thinks just like us. That doesn't help us grow. That doesn't help us experience and transform into new. And so as we engage in community, as we dialogue, as we get to know each other uh, deeply, through love, through this godly love, we are able to have disagreements. We are able to not always see eye to eye and yet still love one another and yet still be a part of community and yet still see the divine and respect the divine and love the divine in each other. And so I offer these two quotes up to you today and this little hillside reflection. Uh, and I hope that it is a blessing to you all. Thank you all for joining. I'm gonna close in a prayer. This is um, the you know infamous St. Francis of Assisi prayer, which feels so, so on point today. Um, I've just added a little line into it. So let us pray. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Help us choose to serve you amongst the community where there is hatred, let us so love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much to seek to be consoled as to console to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Thank you all for joining. Awesome, Robin, Sean, yes, fantastic. Good to see you all today. Sorry for all the noise in the background. Part of being in community is that we have all sorts of things going on and I'll give you a little bit of a show. So this is up my favorite hill and you can look over the whole neighborhood and we've got folks working on brand new deck down there and uh, having outside activities and conversation. So I hope that you are able to recenter a little bit today to find and experience how God's love is working in your life. And we're gonna be doing these for the next week all the way up to election day. We're gonna be um, sending you all and sharing noon and 5.30 gifts of love and then on election day, we've got noon and 5.30 special prayers for election day. And then the week following, we're gonna be sharing gifts of peace. I imagine we're all gonna need a little bit of peace after we go through this um, election. So thank you all for joining. God's love and peace to you all.